beautiful people we meet again we meet again for yet another video i can't i can't i can't i can't i can't bear what's that word english is feeling me i'm so oh god did any of you have problems assimilating things when you're pregnant like bro i'm trying to make this video like very 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 Whew. well hello there my voice is so husky it's not my fault ever since i got pregnant you know it's like this i watched the second one shop so i'm saying help hey hey that is the loudest i can go like what is that why am i sounding like 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 a chicken that something is stuck in its truth anyways let's just start this video let me let me put my leg on the chair because i'm pregnant as you can see mama is heavily Oh, that was a shake. Mama is heavily pregnant. I am actually 34 weeks pregnant today. Ah, you don't know how much I wanted to say that to you. Since the very day I found out I was pregnant, since when I've been like six weeks pregnant, like I think that was when I found out I was pregnant, I've been like waiting for this day to come and it's like not coming. But now that it's here, it's just coming so quick and we are preparing for baby to come here. It's not been easy. Something that started yesterday was nausea again. I mean, I had nausea in my first trimester. I was vomiting. Even the second trimester, I bit. But I mean, third trimester, I stopped. All of a sudden, now it's back. I mean, I don't know. Just sit down and relax. Let's talk about this pregnancy thing. First of all, I said I will see this thing so that people will not feel like I'm anti-pregnancy. I love pregnancy. Pregnancy is the most, it's the most amazing thing that's ever happened to me. I try to say this in a straight face. But I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, I'm just being real. I know the journey is beautiful. They say it's beautiful. You know, some women can sit down and say yes, the journey is beautiful because their symptoms were not like this. When I say I, Tiffany, had all the symptoms in the book, best believe me, there was nothing. Trust me, there's nothing that you're going to say. Is it the one of um, your wrists? You wake up and you cannot feel your hand everywhere is numb i'm happy that the numbness has gone now that's what i'm here to even tell you people that no matter how your trimester starts just now it will get better that's i'm having faith that my sweet soft subtle serere voice will come back you know before i or after i give birth so anyways let me not talk too much i'm just trying to get i'm trying to get the mood you know serere before we start talking about what to expect in your third trimester okay second slash third trimester but mostly third trimester yeah because second trimester was kind of what i mentioned as well with the first trimester they were almost similar but my third trimester i'm seeing shaggy shake sh but i think it's a bit better now that the ending stage like the last it's like the last 10 weeks of your pregnancy becomes easier thank god so the first thing I want to talk about that I have been experiencing so much that it is just so disgusting. I'm sorry to say it's a vaginal discharge. I want to talk about that thing first. See, in pregnancy, vaginal discharge is something that you cannot escape. So women, it becomes more, and it be, and, and that makes you prone to yeast infections. It makes you prone to UTIs. I don't, I can't even count how many. Since I've cheated, like ever since being pregnant, my doctor will just say, It's normal, it's normal, it's normal, you know, just hang in there, just be strong. And I'm telling her, like, ah, Do you know how many panty liners I've bought? <laughs> I'm so good. I have like a stack of panty liners. You think, like, you think that you think that I'm measuring or something, so I wouldn't have to use a pad because there's so much dish. Then I'm um, heart palpitations. Oh, god, let me even link it with shortness of breath. And climbing up a staircase, hey God, Tiffany, you have suffered though. And this baby will come and now I'll tell the baby to stop doing that, and the baby will now disrespect my time to keep quiet. I'll beat you. Anyways, you know, the heart rotation started, um, I think, at um, 27 weeks, yes, they're about. I'll just wake up in the night and the shortness of breath will start first of all. I can't breathe. I'm like, <sighs> then my heart starts to pound like so fast. Then I'm like searching for water. Hey, 
My husband will wake up, he will lay his hands on me, he will pray for me, maybe they are choking me inside you. That's what we used to think first of all, but later on, when I found out that there's such a thing as shortness of breath when you get to pregnancy, I mean, this, this, your ending trimester, and I feel like most of these symptoms, I experienced them so early. Like, I hear some people talking about, um, and this shortness of breath, like the ending part of pregnancy, but me, I still experience it at like 26, 27 weeks pregnant. So, me, I've just, it's like this pregnancy thing, like I said, Everything in the book was just happening to me, or it's still happening to me. So I wake up, I can't breathe, you know. I'm telling you, I'm choking, like, I'm sweating. I'm like, ah, the hot flashes are just another thing. Let me just put them together. Like, it's like, then later on, I realized, okay, this is what was going on when I met with my guy. Me. You know, most times before you read things online, who will tell you different things? <laughs> You'll be scared, like, you know. And sometimes, too, you know, they say, do not sleep on your right side do not sleep on your back sometimes i'll just fall asleep on my back and that is when the choking starts hey because my daughter once told me that before something bad will happen to the baby it will first happen to you <laughs> so that choking experience is like waking you up like oh something is going on until wake up but some people are lucky they don't um experience that they don't feel that uneasiness i've heard of some people that did not even feel shortness of breath did not feel heart palpitation you know my heart to just be boom 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 fast yeah so that that's just it so the third thing that happened you know i categorize shortness of breath with heart palpitation and whatever together just now <laughs> but let's talk about the third thing that really shocked me you can see i'm wearing my glasses normally i'm short-sighted yes which means that I can really see short distance when it comes to long, long, far, far places I can't see normally. Veteran, one faithful morning like this, I think I just turned 29 weeks. I woke up and I couldn't see well. I, I, I'm i telling you, my vision was out, like, especially my, the right side was like dark. And I started screaming. My husband came in, I said, baby, I can't see. I'm going blind. I'm telling you these things happen. Like, when I say everything to me, everything that, every all the symptoms in pregnancy happened to me like i kid you not i couldn't really see like everyone was blurry on my left side and on my right side it felt like there was like this darkness you know i couldn't see i was screaming i was crying he said calm down i couldn't keep calm because i'm like am i going blind because of pregnancy am i going blind ah, ah, who sent me why i can't carry belly i cannot really question god i don't want to question god at all why I can't believe I'm happy I'm blessed because this pregnancy is a miracle but is this is this what I have to cope with okay let me just take it like that so that very day we went to the opt optician optician I found the optician and he checked me like nothing is really wrong with me you know long story short when I called my doctor as usual she's like oh some people experience this um, blurry vision it's to go to go yes she was right I think after some days I started seeing better but for the meantime, I have to wear these glasses because it's like, it's like before I'm short sighted, as I said, but I could manage without my glasses. But now I have to wear my glasses. If not, I'm like seeing blurry vision. But you guys, the next thing that I want to talk about is this one. This one pained me. Ah, this is a con this is, this is a fourth thing. I don't know. I'll just number it. This particular thing pains me and it still pains me. You people, nobody say I get in your like that. For me, both people, I mean, nobody say I get. It's not like I have a big booty, but my bum was trying. Like my bum, but talks, it was trying. Like at least when I wear jeans, people will tell me, like my friends, ah, see if you carry it small, you try, they try, they try. And I try for that expert. But ever since I reached like my end of my second trimester to my third trimester, my yash has reduced. Like it's not like place when I stand. Oh God. I could almost cry because when I stand now, if I stand, you see like my my post is not gonna get big like that. You see my belly boy behind like paper. Oh, the sun is out. Don't do that to me. There's some behave yourself. As I was saying, so if I stand, you see that behind is like plates. And you see my my stomach. He has just reduced. And my husband is very annoying. I would tell him, say, no, baby, your bum is still there. So that you know, I don't know what we want from this man because sometimes I look at myself and I'm like, babe, my nose is looking big. I'm looking ugly today. I'm like, eh, you're the most beautiful girl in the world. How can? 
just be over watching somebody. I know that I'm not looking fine. So the why is this saying I'm looking fine? You'll be telling me that ah, your bo ah, ah, see your body. Ah, ah, sexy mama. Beautiful. I got I just look at like this is not saying again. It's kind of over and yeah, 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 I'd be this one. Because I can look at myself looking like plates. I want to stand up for people to see people not hear me, but the reduction in Botox is there. If you go on Google and Google it, they'll tell you that it happens. Your doctors will tell you that it happens. It's just sad. I mean, some people are gaining hips when they are pregnant. But Tiffany, you reach my turn. Say, make I don't I can't lose my yash. Another one is hyperpigmentation. You can't, I don't know if you can see my neck very well in this video. Oh. I can't come forward. See, pregnancy, you have to be lying on like this. I'm sitting on like this. Can't even sit forward. You'll just be choking. Whew, let me catch my breath. Ah, I actually just stood up to change position on my camera. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Do Okay. Hyperpigmentation. Hmm. My armpit. Okay, my armpit was not like the brightest or whatever. My skin was not the best, best, best. But I still manage. Like I still fit. You know, at home I can wear spaghetti top. I can go out over to the gym. Those days I can wear like a nice top and go out and I can be lifting with another. My armpit is okay. It's okay for its color, but now hmm, it is black. I want to open it for you to see because this is a very scary. It is a big. My person will go much out. Could start doing meme with it so hyperpigmentation my neck you know my arms my thighs it's just it's it's crazy like it's something that most pregnant men will not be able to escape but my auntie always tells me that oh your conversation is like your face is not become black because of pregnant women their faces become black and I'm like oh my armpit is black my neck is literally really dark but like i said the brightness on the camera and what the sun is contrast i don't know why the sun is coming out today can't say that i'm doing youtube video so <laughs> that is what happened as well to you so i mean if you're not lucky if you're lucky i mean then the nose thing of course that one is just there then i noticed something you will permit me or i don't know i don't want to say i'm but like the fluids that come out from the nose, they smell very bad. It's not like I, I purposely smelled it, but one day ah, I, I was just like, oh, this oily thing. So I just did like this. I had, I, I started smelling something off from my nose. I was like, ah, where is the smell coming from? Then I smell my fingers. I'm like, ah. So consciously, I always wash my face every now and then, you know, trying to make sure there's no oil or whatever. So I think it's just like the excess oil that's gathering on the big nose expansion, whatever, that's leading to this smelly, smelly thing. Like, you people, I don't want to talk too much to boys in this video. Maybe I'll do part two, I don't know. But these are like some of the most important ones. I feel like I've mentioned everything that is important. Okay, Braxton Hicks. Okay, Braxton Hicks, it comes like the final tenth the ten final weeks you know um it's like Braxton Hicks are literally like forced labor you know you feel like you're having contractions but they are forced and how you know that they are forced is that most times when you stand up and change position it stops like if I'm sitting like this and I'm feeling ah pain but I paraventure most likely when I stand up to maybe move around the pain will settle but if it's real contractions as I said you will feel the pain and as for real contractions i felt that one recently i've also done a short video on that one yes just two days ago i was admitted at the hospital i was in labor premature labor let's not talk about it. when i say i've been through a lot charlie even in my third trimester as well when i turned 27 weeks my cervix opened up i was almost i was literally about 8.5 centimeters dilated like the baby was about to come but they stitched me up that is a story for another day like that is this is a story that hurts me so much like pregnancy has done me <laughs> but like i said and i always say i know that it's it's like delayed gratification that's how i see that right now it's crazy it's hectic but the person that's coming into my life is just going to be the most special little being that has ever like I've ever come across like he, she, he or she's just going to be like perfection you know and I can't wait so while I go through all these crazy things you know I might come here and say oh pregnancy is hard pregnancy is tough I might come here and be crying and everything but I just sit now delete gratification I just say that if 
for it to be this tough it means that the person that's coming will be an extraordinary person you know i really see this baby as like a miracle child because this baby has proven that it's so strong like it's like i think we've been through a lot together and this baby through it all this baby has just been like this baby has been the one giving me strength this baby has been the one giving me and its father strength you know comfort like people like doctors would say that ah this child even what happened two days ago like i said i spoke about it and i'll share the video like you will see what happened and i'm just amazed like i'm still pregnant right now like obviously the baby didn't come but I'll, i've i've shared that story in another video which people will see you know and i'm just so thankful to god because let me go through it like this but i'm making this video for people to know that pregnancy is not always rosy and also women should not be ashamed to talk about that all this thing is hard just say it just as for example when my doctor said she wanted to put her full fist inside my my cocoon I, I asked her is it painful she said yes you feel some pain discomfort don't say oh no it's not painful at all let somebody know that okay this thing is painful this height was for you yes i wasn't able to they said i will not have children but god blessed me you would think that oh i'll come here and just be smiling every time no i'll share my story that oh this blessing came but when there's a blessing coming when there's a final thing that's going to even be bigger at the end the hurdles you face is not easy success story for success story to be sweeter the challenges are much and it's the truth so me coming here i'm just I'm sharing the challenges with you and let people know it's funny i'm laughing there's been times that i'm crying i'm on the floor i'm asking god why me like why is this so hard I've cried so much, but now it gets better. They talk about also postpartum. I beg God already that God, since I went through this one, the pregnancy, the postpartum, maybe go easy on me, you know. So it's not been easy, but we are striving. We thank God, and that's it. So it's, it's it's amazing. So yeah, if you are an expectant mother, if you are thinking of having a baby one day, if you are not thinking of having a baby one day if you love children if you have any sister brother if you have a husband your wife is expecting anything this video is for you this video is to prepare you for what is to come it's not that bad my girl tiffany Eweka, you know rapping right now from canada ontario to be precise came in to have my baby my little bond of joy Shh. oh my god Killing him to the king of songs of